Mikey Malone, a bit of space. Cuts back inside, have a go. He does. Sack past Nathan oh, Smith. Great Although, tackle. That is some tackle. Great tackle. Not cleared away. And still, maybe a shooting opportunity, a bit of space. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. Yes, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Hashtag United video. As you can see, straight off the bat, it's me and Eddie today. No Spencer, no Seb. Uh, Spen is recovering from his operation, as you saw in the last video. And we are also a little bit light on the pitch. Um, you would have seen Max Cornhill recently picked up an injury. We haven't had PK. Uh, but we soldier on, we make the changes, and we just keep it stepping. Today, we are against Lewis. It is 10th versus 11th? No, 10th versus 9th. So we're, okay. we're in 10th, they're in 9th. Ooh. And they're top of the form guide. Oh so dear. <laughs> it's not been a great start to 2024, but I don't know, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like we can turn it around tonight and we've played some tough opposition, so context is key. The games have been tough, but as I say, tonight, Stamps, it's the one we turn it around, I'm sure. And yeah, speaking of turning things around, guys, we need a little bit more positive support in the comments, by the way. Like, positivity, we know, wins every single time. So yeah, I know the results have been a little bit tough lately, but get behind the boys. This is a journey that we're all here for the ride on. So yeah, I want to see a little bit more kindness in the comments. Thank you very much. And uh, Eddie as well, I'm hearing you've got a little bit of an honourable mention for us today. Yeah, I've been been working hard. The graphic is in the works and uh, it'll be posted by the time that this video goes out. Matty Waldridge, hashtag men's all-time record appearance maker stamps. 111 crazy. appearances. Obviously, we celebrated his 100th not too long ago, but he's now... The main man on top, 111 appearances. My academy teammate, congratulations, Matty. What an achievement. How much you want to bet he doesn't even know about it, by the way? He's probably like, oh, sweet. <laughs> I, I won't bet anything, because that is factually correct. Should we, uh, should we see what Devs has to say before the game? Let's do it. When we see their, their personnel, I don't expect many changes, because they played against nine men for the majority of the game Saturday. Uh, we'll talk about the in individuals a little bit more. But fullbacks do like to get on. They're the ones that will provide the overload, similar to what we do, but that strength in them going forward then is their weakness going the other way, and that's where we've got to be really bright and ready to exploit. Don't want to leave it any, I don't want to go into too much more about that because I just want us to go out there and play with confidence of a side. Listen to this, because this is like a side that in 80 minutes of football scored four goals Saturday and only conceded, uh, conceded so. Yeah, Joe? No. Let's go. Boys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so then let's have a look at our team today going up against Lewis. In goal, we have Josh Strizovic back between the sticks, Jaden Randall and Harry Hasem at centre back, Nathan Smith at left back, and Matty Waldridge at right back. Again, sir, congratulations on your recent achievement of the tags. Uh, in midfield, we have Sam Cornish and Misha Jamaili. Ahead of them, we have Camilo Restrepo. On the left, we have Sak Hassan. On the right, we have Pedro Carvalho. And up front, we have Luke May Parrot. Feed the parrot and he will squawk. Which means on the bench, we have Ryan Sammons, Archie Cunningham, Alex Teniola, Greg Halford, and Ellis Devereaux. That's two boys from the Hashtag United Reserves making a cheeky little appearance in the squad there. Well done, lads the system works. Right then, let's get into the action. Come on, boys. And the whistle goes. We're on the way here at the Len Salomon Stadium. Yeah, it mm -hmm. goes long from Jaden Randall. And let's hope we can get three points, our first three points of 2024. Into the bright lights. Oh, oh, Luke Manpara almost in there, but it's cleared away. Only as far as that man, Matty Waldridge, as mentioned, making his 111th appearance this evening. I'm sure we've been mentioning that several times before the night is out and the cross almost goes all the way through. Sack will pick up the loose ball. Sets it to Sam Cornish wearing Max uh, Cornhill's number six this evening. Sakasan trying to thread it through for Nathan Smith, but he can't do it. He's still out wide in those dangerous areas on the left that he likes. Goes for the cross in, it's a dangerous Ooh, area. Very that's good a, defensive That's header. a great ball, whipping excursion. Sak Hassan there absolutely whips the ball, Wipchenko, and the defender, he, he was nervous there. He was nervous. He was shaky, shaky warrior. Yeah, we played against obviously Dolly's the other week, and they had a um, uh, a fullback. Was he from Concord? The uh, made his Margate, debut. Margate. 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 He was the the right back wasn't it? Yeah. Hatfield was it? Yeah. Something like that. He might get released after that game though, because Sack gave him a. a I think he got man the match, you know. Pardon I'm me? pretty certain he got given man the match, oh, you know. No. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Stevie Wonder watches their games. <laughs> Great footwork from Sack here, and he gets into the box. Oh, looks to pull it. Oh, oh my word! What happened? That, there? Was, I think that was a ricochet. Ricochet. Who's that? Ricochet. John O'Shea's brother. <laughs> I think that's a really nice bit of play from Sack, and we've gone quick with the corner as well. Camillo looking to try and get a ball into the box, but oh. that one's going to be easy for the goalkeeper. Going back to that previous chance though, Sakasan in great form at the moment. 
I'll tell you what though, the yellow Under Armour, I think that makes a big difference to how nice this kit is. It gives it that little je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Is that Congolese or French or is that same that thing? Is, that's French. That is French. Out wide then with the Lewis fullback now into the midfielder. Goes all the way across into the centre back. Is it maybe a room for a shot here? Ops to go back to the right back. On that far side now, Nathan and Sack with some defending to do. Popping it around nicely, Lewis. They're a good side, PK. Very, yeah, uh, very football experienced inside. side at this level. Experienced football inside. They play nice foot. It's cut back, oh. and I'll tell you what, it's 1 0, and that is some strike, PK. Yeah, he's he, he, he's rifled right that into the top top bins. Not much you can do about that. Even though that we started well, that's football for you, though. Yeah, we we're just talking about it. The, the boys have started quite well, looking to come forward, and the first chance, really, that Lewis have got into our box. He's cut back, not cleared away, cut back into the box, and he's finished it very nicely into that top corner. You have to say, Striz can do absolutely nothing with that one. Uh, it's an unfortunate start and it's just, just about being, con we talked about context beforehand and, and how difficult our start to 2024 has been. It's been a good start from the boys. It's only the first chance really that Lewis have had. Oi, go again. We've started so well, go again, yeah? He, he, he's that guy, he's him. I feel like he he's is him. Matty yeah. is him. Matty is him. Breaking news people, Matty is him. I feel like he's an unsung hero. There we go, we're talking about pressing from the front. We've won it here. Good Ooh. effort from Zach. Just wide of the mark. I actually, for a minute, thought that was sneaking in. Goalkeeper didn't even move. Great head on there by Matty. Good turn, Peds. Go on, Peds. This is the kind of positions we want Pedro in. Running at, running at defenders. Good feet from Peds to hold, uh, hold the ball. Retain possession. Flick is won by the defender. With Misha and Camilo going for it. Need to get there, but Pedro collects the loose ball. Turns back inside. He's got Camilo in a bit of space. Cuts back inside, have a go. He does. Ooh, good. This one you'd expect the goalkeeper to save, but yeah. a shot on target, PK. Yeah, shot on target. He's come inside the world to get the shot off. Had created a bit of space, space, didn't he? He yeah. created the space. He created the space for himself. Couldn't get enough power on it. But it's good. It's good. It's looking promising. Well done! Well done, Camilo! Uh, how was the atmosphere at Portsmouth yesterday? Really good atmosphere. Here in 12.46 was the attendance yesterday at the Portsmouth women uh, top of the table clash. Unfortunately, not the result we were after, but good performance. And hey, listen, if you'd have told us at the start of the season we'd be uh, challenging a, a team like Portsmouth when we've got a lot less of the budget, as Sack wins that one back. And this one is there dangerous. Go. There we go. The fullback's out of position. Oh, someone going. needs to get into the box. Someone needs to get into the box. Sack, is he going to go? Oh. Very, very good block. Was it block or a save there in the end? Either way, Nath sprinting up past absolutely everyone. And look at him. There. Look at him now. He's sprinting back past everyone as well. Jogging back, but it's a fast jog. This is oh, dangerous, Mish. though. Comes forward. Ops for oh. the shot. Is that the same guy that scored the first goal? I think it might be. It's he's got a little rifle on him, isn't it? <laughs> dangerous, though. Oh, and he cuts inside. Oh, he's still I've going. Great feet. Before. I've seen him do that little move before. He shifts, shifts and gets a yard and he bangs little, it. The little Willian. Yeah. See, Pedro, Willian does, used to do that. Pedro does it well as well. This is true. That's a very nice ball into that. Big number nine. Still going here. No foul given. And that's a great oh. strike from the number 11. The goal scorer again. Number 11. Looking to make it to and get his second in the evening with a thunderous effort. Thanks, okay. Daniel, for the super chat. Let's hope that it leads to a hashtag goal. But right now, it's number defending 19. to do. Got to show him line. Got to show him land there. Bombo Kalala finds Wood. I think said Bombo Kalala. Back. <laughs> I will do if they score. It's a great ball in. And it's oh. a really good header. But Josh Drizovic down well. Down, down to well. his left. Down well. Comfortably caught that. And that's what he's about. Very calm. Look at him there. Very calm. Getting the boys up. Yeah, simple. No, nothing more to say about that one. Strizovic, good hands. Well kept. Still 1-0. Pushing well, though, and starting to get a little bit more we're open little, this game, yeah, isn't we're, it? We're getting more and more in the game as the game goes on. I'm seeing I'm seeing us I'm seeing us getting a chance. Great challenge from Camilo, and this is a really and big chance. Him. He's going himself, is he? Cuts oh. inside, Camilo there with a go. bit of space there to shoot. Yeah. And he scores! Oh. Camilo Restrepo. Boom, tack, tack. Boom, tack, boom, tack, tack. Boom, tack, boom, tack. Camilo Restrepo, that's a goal, you know. That's a goal straight out of favelas, PK, uh, isn't it? Straight out, of the, straight out of the favelas on the high altitude training. He's just chopped him, sent him for a burger, sent him packing. He said, yeah, see you later. Bless you.
Camillo Restrepo. What a finish that is. Nicks the ball high up the pitch. Then press, and we've been talking about it. It has been so good so far in this game from the boys high up the pitch. Camillo wins the ball back and does it all himself. I thought there was maybe a chance on to pass. He chops inside, sends the defender back home all the way to and Sussex. And he told Paul he that, you in. know. His toe might be broken because right now his toe is probably frozen in this cold. And he's been, all right, that's unreal, by the way. What a finish into that the top unreal. bins. I said it, there was a chance. I said it. That's what you call a foot so toe poke. Well, we, how many minutes are we in? We are about 30 minutes in. And we can go into the half 1-1. One, one. Well, there's a little bit <laughs> a little bit of time to go. We, we can, we Let's can. hope. And defending to do here before we get into the break. Sack past Nathan oh, Smith. Great Not, though, tackle. That is some tackle. Great tackle. Eddie Buskin. Hey, listen, I've I got a voice. <laughs> Eddie hey, listen, Buskin. I can, I can busk. I'll see, make Eddie, some peace. see Eddie at um, Oxford Circus. That's a foul there from Nathan and a dangerous area. Lewis here with a chance to swing this one in. In comes the free kick then into a really good area. It's headed away there by Harry Hayson. Not completely though. And the touch oh there I think has gone in God. off of Jaden Randall. Jesus that is, Christ well, when your luck's down, PK, it really does keep getting worse, doesn't it? That what? one's a very unlucky goal to concede. That is so unlucky. That is what you call a ricochet. I don't even know. I think it, I think it's just hit him. I don't even think he knows much about it. I think it's literally just hit him. Yeah, the ball comes out from the corner. I don't even, it's come I think out it's to the edge of the box. Goal, you know? Yeah, it it's not? come out to the edge of the box, but it's on target. So I think okay. it goes down as his goal regardless. How the f*** has that gone in? F*** off. It's gone short. And Lewis half asleep. Here is Saka San. He's got Sam Cornish oh, on the edge of the box. He's gone himself. Ooh. Misha with the touch and volley. It's not oh. away. I think the defender's done really well there and the goalkeeper can collect that one with no pressure, PK. No one really alive no, for that no second one ball. really around him there. Luke trying to do something. Just trying to put him off. Ooh. Oh, almost. It's good pressing high up the yeah, pitch. but sometimes you just got to gamble and hope for the best there. When it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, then you've got a lot of running to do. You're out of position. And there's running to do here as a shot comes in. It's a dangerous one. And Ooh, Strews with a very geez. good save there. Palmed it out of danger. Palm and that out play. into the right area as well. A lot of the times, sometimes keepers do palm that into the path of the striker, and that's a tapping. But he's done well there to get it out. Did it go for a throw? Yeah. It dipped, dipped on it, didn't it? Yeah. yeah like it dipped well. dip late on him. Free kick here then. Swings in. It's into a really good area, and oh. Harry Hasem in acres of space and onside. It's a very difficult opportunity with a swing and volley with the ball coming over the side, side of your shoulder. Side of your shoulder. It's is a tough it, one, PK, is, is, but is, is a good chance though, nonetheless. It is, it, is, it is a good chance, difficult technique, not a lot that can master. And if that could fall to anyone, I would not want it to fall to Harry Hazen. <laughs> We're On open the counter-attack here. We're open. Camillo and Sack both hounding him down, chasing him like greyhounds. Oh, I would have loved to have seen that Sam Cornish effort if it was on target. No block. Definitely would have been troubling the goalkeeper. It's a great switch. It's a very good first touch, but it's a bit oh, too much on it. And Matty's gone for goal, is he? And that is the half-time whistle, the tags trail at the break. Uh, PK, thanks very much for joining me for the first half, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, boys. And hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be on the pitch. You've been really good on the whole. Been really good against a good side in what I think is a good game of football. Um, Defensively, don't give up on things that you think are going out. They're quite bright, they stay alive, they want to go that way. They, it suits them if, from Josh, we're just launching it forward to them because they've got the height on us tonight. We're not the biggest, particularly going up as far as, as Luke. And we're almost just giving them the ball back by doing that. So we're asking you to be a bit braver in terms of getting the ball out because when we've passed it and we've beat the first pass, they really struggle against us and we get out quite easily because they're a side that, you know, are pretty much only interested in going that way. So we've got to make sure that we're brave enough and listen, we've been good and we don't deserve to be getting beat, but that's just how it is at the moment. Yeah, and we've just got to see it through and carry on working because the performance, I'm telling you now, you carry on with the level of performance you give them for that first 45 minutes, I will go home happy tonight. We're on the way then for the second half. Wood sends it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Hashtag, very positive talk there from Devs. Looking to turn this one around. Corner comes in then, it's high. Jaden Randall with some defending to do. It's oh headed no. back in oh and that gosh. is a big miss from the centre back there. Ball's gone all the way through. Tackle well though. 
by Camilo Restrepo. And that's a really nice knock there. Ah. From Jaden Randall. Sack brings it down. Percept. He's had his foot stepped on as well, but he's turned brilliantly. And a nutmeg, Saka San. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Driving forward with it now. Looks for the reverse pass to Nathan Smith. Oh. Gets a cross in. There's a late tackle on Nathan, but the shot comes oh. in in the end from Pedro Carvalho. And you'd expect the referee to have a word with that defender there. Late tackle on Nathan Smith, but Saka San. Unbelievable dribbling stamps. Yeah, I mean, he's had the information from Devs to attack, um, attack his defender, and he's done just that. He got tripped up. Turned around, had the confidence to go and put it for his legs, gave the ball to Naif. Good cross, and Pedro can't quite stab it home. Just a little bit on the stretch. It's unlucky. He's been unplayable at times tonight. Corner swung into a dangerous area, oh, no. all towards the back pace. It's headed back in. Cleared away, not away completely. Oh, well done. Still come not on, away get completely. Out, get out, get out, get out. Chance get for a handball. Out, out, not please. cleared away. Lewis still in the box here. This is dangerous. Pass inside to the big man. Nathan Smith doesn't let him turn. He does manage to get a shot off. And Striz can hold that one comfortably. Oh, Sam Cornish yeah. caught late, but advantage played. Misha Jamali with Nathan Smith around him. Oh, no. Open up. Into Open a up. Area. You guys will go. No. Goes for the cross. It's towards the back post, but there's too much on it. And Nathan Smith opting for the cross there. Was that the right decision, Stamps? I feel like... Nath had more space to drive into there and he could have opted for a lower cross after getting closer to the goal. Uh, but it'll be interesting now to see if um, the referee does go back and give that man a yellow card for the late challenge on Cornish. Jake Elliott, again driving out of the fence. Matty Waldrews this time picks it up though. Finds Camilo Restrepsil in the middle of the park. It's cut out and again, Lewis come forward and break with pace. Ball, just kept in play. Cuts inside. Finds Archie Tamplin. Ball in behind. That's a really important touch there. From Sam Cornish. Ball forwards not found anyone in a hashtag shirt. And again, it's number eight that gets to the ball first. Not cleared away. And still maybe a shooting opportunity. Bit of space. Joshua Struzovic, take a bow. That is some stave stamps. Wow. That shot, he looked like he was under so much pressure there from Sam Cornish, but he's managed to take a shot that was literally heading for that top right-hand corner. And Striz with a very strong hand to palm it off the target of the goal. What a save that is. Corner to be taken by Archie Tamplin. It's deep in towards that back post and headed away by Harry Hayson. Pedro looking to run with the ball here. Almost brought down but stays on his feet. Cuts inside. He's got Misha inside. If he can oh, find him, he doesn't it. play him. Cuts back and instead goes to Harry Hayson. That's a very important touch. What and we've got two over here. Way. It's Saka Nathan. If he can find one of them. Harry goes to Saka San well done, on this left-hand side on his weak foot. Cuts inside onto his stronger foot and crosses oh it days. towards Nathan Smith. Yeah! And that is what we've been looking for. Yes. Nathan Smith, arguably our Come player on. of the season this year, the most consistent man yes. on the field, makes that run into the box, speeds forward. <laughs> Overlapping <laughs> runs have been at plenty tonight. This time, though, he goes into the box and Saka Sam picks him out with the most delightful of crosses, Stampy, and we're level. All right, listen, man, shout out Harry Hayson because what a touch that was between those defenders to drive forwards. Sets it to sack. And we saw it in the first half. Probably won't make the highlights. But Nathan just started darting from left back all the way up front Neon. once we were making progress up the pitch. He's done it there. And this time, he's got himself a goal. I like it. Tell you what, Nathan Smith takes the term marauding fullback to a whole different level there. The speed on show for a big man. Keeping it age. local. Keeping it local. No Keeping food in the local. fridge. No food in the fridge. Unbelievable, we're back in it people. That's the most important thing. Maybe with a good chance here of getting our first points of the year. And I think we're about to make changes too. That looks like the tall figure of Greg Halford readying up. Hashtag. And maybe AT as well. Throw in Lewis. Plenty of time still to play here though. Oh gosh, what was that flip? And that's a great effort. What and on again, earth? We're already behind. 
after just getting back into the game here. A moment, another moment of quality. A nice flick. I'm going to need to slow that one down, the edge of the box, man. right into that corner. I've got to slow that one down because the, the, when the player got the ball to his feet there from that throw, he did this weird little like one-two flick between his left foot and right foot and flicked it up. That was outrageous. And literally, Eddie, after just drawing level, we are now one behind again. Twice, twice we got back in the game and given a goal. Still gone quite far. Nathan Smith's done well. Me shot. Gets a turn. Good strength from him. Holding off Archie Tamplin. Has to send it back though to Greg Halford. Harry Hayson into Sack. Great yeah, turn from Sakasan. Outrageous. I yeah. thought he was going to pass it off to Nathan Go instead. On, Give it to Turns. Nate. Nathan Smith overlapping Perfectly again. In his path. And cuts it in. Oh, it's. Oh, he's defender it. error. And I thought it might have fallen for ET there, Stamps. There was a little bit of a miscommunication there between the defender and the goalkeeper. One bowed out last minute and keeper sprawled it. There was just nobody there on the charge. AT was already past the ball at that point. It's unlucky, but great turn from Sack there. Really, really positive stuff. Oh my God, I didn't realise it was a key. I thought it was their player and dropped it. Sent back to the fullback. Aye. Flicked round. Jaden Randall out of position. Out wide on this left hand. Ball in. Yeah, Harry Hayes is the one that gets there. It's not away completely. Can't let it bounce in there, Still though. bouncing. Jaden Randall gets no, a touch. And that no. shot is well off target. But that is Try a real let off, isn't it? Trying to cross it. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Still have uh, the reverse fixture to play, of course, against this lot. Late on in the season. I think it might be the last game of the season in April. Great feet. In that corner. That's oh a really gosh. nice feet. Oh Still my going gosh. here. That would have been some goal. Thankfully blocked. But they still have the ball. Matty Wardridge has done well. Tries to get it away. It's had a play for a goal kick. And good play from Dion Moore to come away with it. Overlap there. And again, Lewis come forward. This is not what we need. We need the ball back, boys. Yeah, we know we exactly where they're going. They're going straight for that corner. But if we can stop them, maybe, that well, would be down. decent. That's unbelievable no, feet. Stop him. Still going. There's a pass on. He cuts it back. It's defended well by Harry Hayson. And now a play for a corner. Stampy, I'm going to ask you for your UFL player of the match. Do you want me to do it now or in the outro? Okay. Well, Never that's mind. the final whistle. So, Stampy, defeat here at the Lens Salomon Stadium. going to ask you for your UFL player of the match, please, pal. Uh, I'm going to give it to Sack again for the second game in a row. Do you know what? Especially considering he's played, is that a full 90? Um, again, yep. In the space of, what, 48 hours or so? That's yep. Yeah, and he was running with a lot of energy today. I'm loving the little flicks. You can really see he's growing in confidence, which we love to see. Shout out Nathan Smith as well for one, getting that goal and also being very solid this game and the last. Very consistent. I'd say our most consistent player this year, but yeah, I'm going to give it to Sak. Well played, sir. Sakurai Hassan, back-to-back -back player of the match awards for him. The Somali star boy, another very, very, very good performance from him, but unlucky for us this evening. Yeah, man, I mean, it is another loss, but we are learning. That is the most positive thing. Every L we take is not a loss, it's a lesson. Uh, I want you guys to make sure you're sticking with us through this journey, through thick and thin. We appreciate your support. Get behind the boys. Let's keep the comments positive. You can see the league table right now. That puts us in 10th. Lewis move up to 7th. But yeah, we just keep going, man. On to the next game. We'll bounce back.